Oh, this is just uh, we do the th three main knots messed up before. I couldn't quite see it all properly. Um, so what we're going to be showing is the three main ones I use, which is I've done examples here already. This one's your easy snell. I prefer this one because it is easy. Um, over doing the other one, which is a little bit more difficult. Um, we're also going to go through this one, which is the uh, Palma knot. That's kind of useful if you're all thumbs like me. And the simple clinch or improved clinch knot. Those are the three main ones that I do or use for both hooks, swivels, uh, and clips. Ouch. So the first one we'll start off with is uh, let's go with this snail, easy snail. So you just this one's. I like this one because it's so much easier than the complicated version is put you through your eyelet you come down you form a little loop down the bottom which you're going to be using that later and then uh, what we're going to do is then I'm going to wrap up when I get it in the right spot sorry about that we're going to wrap up the hook and the leader and usually wrap around four, five to six times around and it's really a personal preference how many times if you want to go more than that it's up to you but uh, five to six is generally what people will stick with and that's enough to get the strength now once you've done your wraps what we're going to do is we're going to feed that back through the little loop that we left down the bottom and then all we do to finish this knot off is to pull on the main line to tighten these knots up while holding the bottom end and once she's tightened all the way so there we go you can see the little wraps you just all you need to do is trim off your excess and you have a nice strong knot so that's the easiest now. Second one up we all try. The one I'm gonna try we're going to do is the clinch knot or improve um, and improve clinch knot. There's only a minor difference between the two. So you're feeding through the eyelet. And all we're going to do is come up and wrap around your line roughly same five to six times. Must be a special number. Um, and once you've done your five to six. Uh, you feed it back through the loop down the bottom that we, we created uh, and the normal clinch is you just feed it through and then you pull on the main line to tighten it up and create the knot. Uh, the improved version is you just simply feed it back through itself like that. Hopefully you can see you feed it through like this and then you pull on the main line um, whilst holding the uh, the end. This is where you probably use your teeth, which I'm going to have to do just for the reason. I tighten it. To, you don't have to use your teeth, but it avoids getting your finger pricked by the um, the end of the hook. And you end up with a knot at the end like that, and you trim off. You trim off the excess, and that's your clinch. Well, this is the improved clinch knot. Another good knot. Uh, last one covering Palmer knot. Uh, this is the one you use by uh, you, could, you either create a loop and you try and feed it through the, the eyelet, but I find it's much easier just to feed it through like this and then back in on itself to create the loop that you're going to need. Now you're going to need a fair bit of loop out the other side, so um, push through quite a bit. Uh, and leave a little bit out because what we get what we do is we create a we tie it off by creating a uh, when I get it right I need a little bit more Ouch. I just stab myself with the knot And we just tie it off 
like this, we'll create a loop, and then all we're going to do now, once you've tied that little knot, is you're going to feed it across your uh, hook or your swivel, and then you're going to hold the ends and tighten it up and pull it tight. Until she is tight. Okay, and that's then you trim off your excess, and that's oh, that's that knot right there. So that one's a good one if you like me a little bit more all thumbs and you want a different knot. So that one's that one's easy to do, good with uh, swivels and sinkers, sorry, swivels and uh, clips as well. Um, this one as well as the uh, clinch whereas you're probably going to use your snail mainly for hooks and those are the main three that you're going to end up using um, hopefully that's helpful cheers